redistricting more than issues, more than campaigns, more than candidates. Gerrymandering is the issue when it comes to the House races. And, and is that right? And in what states are we talking about? I think that is right. What it appears right now is that Republicans will probably have somewhere between a four to seven seat majority in the U.S. House. Could be slightly less than that, could be a little bit more. But no matter where that number is, in reality, it is going to be within the number that of seats that Republicans stole and rigged through redistricting alone. So if you look at Florida, Republicans took themselves uh, from a from 16 seats up to 20 seats in Florida. They drew themselves those four seats in Texas, in Tennessee. The commissions that they hijacked or pushed to the breaking point in Iowa and Arizona, uh, the, the state Supreme Court decision in Wisconsin, where a conservative Supreme Court, which was supposed to be the neutral arbiter of maps in that state, instead said, well, you're going to draw lines that make the fewest possible changes from the last map. The last map, of course, in Wisconsin, which rigged the state for an entire decade. Then you look at what the U.S. Supreme Court did on the Voting Rights Act and those, and the maps that it affected in, in Alabama, in Georgia, and Louisiana. You can easily get to 12 to 14 seats that the Republicans and their, and their robed allies on the Supreme Court and in state Supreme Courts effectively stole for them. And that made the difference in a close race for Congress. 